Hello, my name is Espen Anderson, and I teach technology and strategy at BI Norwegian Business School. When we are trying to understand technology and technology competition, it's very easy to focus on the technology alone. But you also have to look at how the technology is organized and offered, the business model, and also the future strategy of the company. And these things hang together, they are connected. And we are going to illustrate this today by showing two kinds of technology and explain how they differ in how they are put together in the business model of the companies behind and in the future strategy. And these two technologies are electric cars versus traditional uh, gas burning cars. Um, and we have two of them here. Here we have a Tesla Model S. It's a P90D, very big and strong um, car. And we have a similar car from Jaguar, an XF. Both are very nice cars and they look quite the same. They're not that different. But when we start to look at the technology, the differences are really dramatic. If we pop the hood on the Tesla here, um, you'll see that most of what's in here is a luggage compartment. This is a four-wheel drive car, so it has one engine behind the torpedo wall here. The engine is about this big. It has a similar engine, slightly bigger, in the back between the rear wheels. They're electric, there's no gearbox. Um, they are connected uh, to a battery, which is the floor in the car, and that's pretty much it. And there are a few physical uh, technologies down here as well. There's the steering assist, there's the air conditioner, there's the braking assist, and there's the control for the air suspension, and that's about all. The rest is software. Well, if we take a look at the more traditional car here, the gas-powered car, um, you'll see that the situation is rather different. Here it is brimming with technology. It has a large and powerful engine. It has a cooling system in the front. There are exhaust pipes that pull the exhaust out. There is a gas tank hidden behind the back seat and lots of other supporting systems for the driveline. So, these two technologies, the complexity here is in the product itself and the, physical, in the physicality of the car. And in the Tesla, the complexity is mostly in the software. This enables two different business models. For the Tesla, if I buy myself a Tesla, I will buy it from Tesla in the United States in principle. And the people servicing it where I live will be people working for Tesla. It's one closed business model. For the Jaguar or most, almost any other traditional car, I will buy the car from a local dealer who has bought it from an importer who has bought it from uh, the company producing uh, the car. Very different business models and very differently how they treat their customers and treat things like updates and repairs and so on and so forth. A traditional car is more of a product and a Tesla is, or electric car, is more of a service. If you step further back and look at the future strategy of traditional car companies versus Tesla, Tesla is very focused on creating self-driving cars. Tesla is a small company, 50,000 cars produced last year. Do the traditional car producers like Toyota or Ford, Toyota produced 8 million cars last year, Ford 2.6 million, do they have reason to be afraid of Tesla? Well. If we move to a situation with only self-driving cars, we can probably reduce the number of cars necessary by about 70%. Now for a small company like Tesla, a world with 70% less cars is a great opportunity. For a traditional car company, a future with 70% less cars, even though the cars drive much more, is not a good business opportunity. So you see, differences in technology architecture begets differences in business models and differences in future strategies. They are interconnected and you cannot see them in isolation. And on that bombshell, thank you very much.